I am alright There's something about the way you make me feel inside I'm counting down the days till we fly away Heading to the sun, only you and me are Good morning, everybody. I am having a great start to my morning. It has been pretty chill, and I just finished washing the car, and now I'm back at the house, getting ready to attack the front porch for fall decor. So we're gonna go do some shopping, do some restyling, and get that porch all put together and share some ideas along the way. Um, it is a beautiful fall day. It is like 50 degrees, it is sunny. Time to bust out like the oversized sweaters. Um, yeah, it's my favorite time of the year. A lot of you have been asking me on Instagram because I posted a picture of it. Um, I started reading In Pieces by Sally Field. It is so ridiculously good. I had no idea what her life was like or anything about like her past. And this book is just so beautifully written. Her voice as a writer is phenomenal. It's just so... Fantastic. It's so fantastic. Next thing you should pick up is Real Simple's October issue. I typically don't read it cover to cover. This month's edition is so good. So it has like a hundred ideas on how to like make your house really cozy for um, the fall. But what I really loved is they did an article on easy ways to like find center and calm um, at work and in life. And it was so incredibly helpful. This month's magazine is just really, really great. I'll often just flip through it and not read it in its entirety. And this month I read it in its entirety. So if you see it out, pick it up because it's really, really wonderful. Um, they did a really great job on this one. Also, they unveil like their biggest home makeover they've ever done for the magazine. And it has some really great ideas, but I love this front porch. It is so beautiful. I love like the dark blue door. Yep, it's wonderful. It has been such a really great week. Um, very busy, felt a little stressed at some points, but um, had a really great talk with my boss and uh, I feel so much better and so relaxed and so great. But you'll have weeks like that, but you're lucky to have had the week. And it was a blessing to be able to wake up every day, go to a job that I love with people that I love and um, sometimes that's all you need, but we had a really great week and it ended really, really wonderfully. So that's what's been happening. And like I said, today we are going to attack the front porch. I have a vision, but I haven't completely mapped it out. We're going to kind of shop and see what we come across and yeah, we're going to do the best we can. In other exciting news yesterday, I got the iPhone XS Max. I ended up I bought this cover at Apple because I'm still waiting for my new cover to come. It's really cool. It's like a tortoise shell. It'll be awesome for fall. Um, so I just picked up this silicone case um, at our local Apple store. But my phone came yesterday and I opted for the silver. But let me tell you, the silver isn't like the old Apple silver. It is actually more of like a white gray color. Like a, it's so pretty. It's so pretty and I really love it. Um, this is the largest screen size they've done. It's six and a half inches of just all screen. You can see it goes straight to the edges um, and I love it. It's such a beautiful phone and look at the edging. The edging is like silver. Oh, it's so good, um, but I'm really, really happy with it. I also love the speakers on this iPhone. Um, Steven asked me, I was listening to music on it this morning and he's like, is that at full volume? And I'm like, no, not yet. And he was like, gosh, it's so much louder than your old one. But yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm still getting used to not having a home button because I went from the Apple iPhone 8 plus to the XS Max and I still have to get used to a couple things, but I really, 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 really like it. It's a fantastic phone. It's like their most beautiful iPhone they've made. A lot of you asked me on Instagram to do a what's on my iPhone. Um, I will go ahead and do that. I will film one in the coming weeks. I'm also thinking of doing Vlogtober. And the only stipulation will be is that I will not be able to vlog and put it live every single day because October is super busy for me and I'm traveling and I have some big things at work that are happening. Um, so that wouldn't be possible, but I could vlog all week and then upload it on the weekend. 
Um, so that's what we might be doing. We might be doing Vlogtober, but it'll be vlogs on a weekly basis of the entire week. Let me know if I should do it or if you're interested in it. And if I was to do Vlogtober, what would you want to see? What do you want to do? Um, add those all to the comment box below. I have something that came from my P.O. box. So I'm going to go ahead and open it and see what it is. And it is from Rita in South Carolina. She also has really cute like Halloween address stickers. They're very adorable. Rita has beautiful penmanship. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. It is like a, a brass fish dish. I'm gonna use this for my rings. I love like a patinaed brass. That is stunning. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Rita must have gone to Goodwill because she knows my love for all things brass. Rita, this is so awesome. Um, I am so excited. Rita must have gone to Goodwill and picked up brass candlesticks and must have found this brass dish. This is one of the best things ever. I am so excited. Um, that's just so cool. I cannot wait to incorporate these into my house and remember that they are from you. This is so exciting. And what the funniest thing is, if you look into my living room right now, I have all kinds of Goodwill brass candlesticks. So right there are five. There are some right here. There are some on the dining room table. So I have two more to add. I'm so excited. Oh, also, I realize I've not given you guys a couch update. So this is the Our House couch that we custom built for this corner of the living room. All I can say, my friends, is we absolutely love it. It is so fantastic. I find myself sitting here on the chase and in the corner, but we love it. It wears so nice. The fabric is so beautiful and it just really lightens up the space and it just really fits. Also, you guys are, have gone crazy over the coffee table centerpiece. I love it so much. Oh, it's so pretty. I am so excited about those Goodwill brass finds from Rita. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Um, all right, so I'm gonna throw my shoes on and we are going to go do some shopping. I am so irritated. So I was setting up the porch and um, thought I was recording and here I wasn't recording at all. So, uh, I'm bummed. Uh, Steven trimmed all of these shrubs in the front and then I started putting stuff together but I need a couple more pumpkins so. Steven went to go grab some pumpkins and then I'm going to go ahead and put the finishing touches on. Also, the sun is so bright, I don't know if my face was even in the frame, but we'll make it work. So once the pumpkins get here, we will finish the porch and then I'll show you what I did. All right, it is sunny, so it is hard to tell what you can see, but I had this old cotton wreath from Target a couple years ago. So that is on the door. Then I did the shoot of corn, the hay bale, and then layered some of the pumpkins around. Kept all of my lanterns. This huge burgundy mum. And then I still kept my layered rugs here just because I think it works for all seasons. And I love, love, love how they're holding up and they just look so great. It is just an easy way to get so much impact. And then over here, I just have a throw blanket that is made for outdoors along with some pillows. I wish I had like a fall pillow, but I couldn't find any that I love that I was willing to throw outside. So yeah, the lanterns are also from Target. Really, really happy with it.
Oh. He's being a bad boy today. He's barking a lot. Are you barking a lot? Sit. 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 You're such a good listener. Sit. Sit. Can you sit? Sit. 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 What's so silly? Shake. 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 You follow no directions, you old man. Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday. It is 8.30 a.m. Going to have some coffee and get the day going. <laughs> All right, I'm still asleep. I really need to get this day started. It is so cloudy out and dreary, but um, it's like 11 o'clock now and I've done nothing yet today. And I have things to do, so I gotta get moving. But I thought I would share that the first advent calendar for Vlogmas has arrived. I thought we'd go ahead and open it. Um, it is the Rituals one. I had this one last year and I loved it, so I got it again. And I can't open it. Oh, because it's not actually tied. It opens up and looks like a tree. These things like pop out and in but it is 24 days. I absolutely love this calendar. Oh my God, a little beat up in the corner. And then this all goes back and this pops in here so that the tree stands up tall. But that is what it looks like. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go get cleaned up to start the day, but I do have some things to share with you actually. Uh, yesterday I went to Hobby Lobby because I started like planning my holiday decor. If you're following me on Instagram, I shared one of my inspiration pictures. But I grabbed this candle at Hobby Lobby. It was in their Christmas decorations. It's called Green Wreath. It is by, I don't know what company, and I don't want to pick it up right now. But it smells so good, and it was like $9. It's amazing. Um... So I will quickly post one of the inspiration pictures right here and then show you. Based off of that inspiration picture, I went and bought all of these uh, bottle brush trees. They were super reasonably priced and I bought a ton of them in all different sizes and in all different colors. I'm really, really, really excited about it. So, yeah. What else did I pick up yesterday? Oh, also, I picked up a bunch of the Chrissy Teigen collection at Target. It's really, really great. So I did grab her new book, and then also her utensils. I love the colors that she used. This little like salt crock I picked up from her. And then I also bought two pans by her. Oh wait, not that drawer. Um, I bought two pans by her. They're like ceramic, non-stick. They're really, really nice. But yeah, super excited. And then, whoops. I also bought one of her knives. Really impressed with her stuff. What I love is that everything seems so well made. So I bought those yesterday and now I'm just gonna get ready and we're gonna go do something. I have to go pick up a couple bottles of wine for a friend that I want to give to her tomorrow. So tomorrow at work we are doing a, hold on let me turn on the other lights. We are doing a dip off. So I am making some dips right now and I realize one thing that I haven't shared much about that many of you have asked about is my Smeg mixer and how I am liking it. One thing that I really like about it that I have noticed a big difference, if you look, the lip of this 
your bowl actually sits down in it, so it's so stable. Um, but we are going to make a pumpkin pie dip. I will leave the recipe linked down below. In here, I already have a buffalo chicken dip. I'll leave this recipe down below too. I will put a single batch, but I'm making double batches of everything right now. So we are going to go ahead and get this rocking and rolling. So what I'm gonna start with is I'm going to put four packages of cream cheese in. I am splitting it. I'm doing two of the original and then two of the one third less fat um, blocks. So I'm gonna get those in there and then we will add the next part of the ingredients. I have my four blocks of cream cheese. Now I'm going to add two cans and these are the, how many ounces? These are the 15 ounce cans of pure pumpkin. Next, I'm going to add four cups of sifted powder sugar and then just start blending it and then we'll add some cinnamon and some ground ginger to it. So let me go ahead and get the four cups of powder sugar into our mixing bowl. All right, friends, so it is several days later, but I have edited the vlog and realized I didn't close it out. But an update, my pumpkin dip won the best overall dip of the entire contest. So that recipe is down below as well as everything else that I talked about in the vlog. But I'm going to leave this like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time. Bye.